Hey everybody, I just wanted to show you all the work that I have done to my uh, Harbor Freight carport canopy here. Uh, I've had this thing for about five years as far as the framework goes. I had it collapse a few times on me, but I have rebuilt it ever since. Uh, recently just put in a new 9mm uh, tarp. I can't remember the exact dimensions. It fits it pretty good, but there is a little bit of a gap if you centered it out better be all right but what i've been doing during this uh past couple of weeks is all these that you see up through here and with the the zip ties at all the joints and whatnot what i did this for was to help alleviate the uh, weight of any rain or possibly snow that we might get um, this is all stuff that I bought at Harbor Freight um, and I also it's hard to see but I have cables on the outside going over the top uh, this way and uh, going this way you can't really see it but there's one on the outside that gets rained on that bit from blowing out it's too big you won't blow it up and like try to carry it away or anything I did those about every two feet the uh, outside uh, cable on the top runs along with this one at two different places you can kind of see it right there um, I used uh, good aircraft or parachute cord rope kind of help some of it these buckles here to help tie it down from the outside as you can see it goes under loops around and then of course goes over and I just did a simple thing right here to secure um, I used four uh, cable uh, things of cable from Harbor Freight which is This stuff right here, it's really good, got a good high weight. And then the only thing I had to do at Home Depot was um, pick these cable clamps. And if you go to Home Depot, they have a three pack for like a $1.98 or so, give or take, depending on your state. Uh, I think I used 16 of those packs those three packs to get two on each in all the various locations I just did them hand tight uh, you'll need a cable cutter to cut the cable or a grinder with a cutoff wheel and do it safely but this is pretty much all I've been doing this last couple of weeks just to help alleviate the uh, alleviate sorry the weight that these tarps get to make it hopefully last longer the nice thing is is if I have to replace the the tarp again I can um, undo the top straps fairly easy again right here at the turnbuckles pull the straps over and then pull the off and reline the new tarp put just the top straps back on all of this is inside so this would not be affected by it at all if anything it would make it easier to drape it across and all I did for strapping it down was take some rope and just started and looped it through kind of like a shoelace around the pole through the tarp around the pole through the tarp um, I did add some extra bracings years ago such as this one these cables that you see are old but that's to also help keep it tied to the the ground a little better I have a, a wooden driveway basically and then I also put in those bars that you see right here uh, after the first time it fell on me that was a big snowstorm um but yeah other than that i'm it's raining right now and i live in oregon and you know i'm dry under here 
new tarp on cables are working good real easy to do just takes a lot of time especially with the zip ties i would take a zip tie and go this way sorry this way and then another one this way tied them up cut them off so we'll see how it holds up if i have to re redo the the tarp that's fine that's easy which i kind of expect it nothing lasts forever nowadays i did put some i don't know if you can see it along the framework where those three pieces come together at the top as well just to help pull those together and keep them from separating at any time um i put some screws in some spots too that also helps you know but then like this pole is a fence pole that i got at home depot it's the top top rail and and i had to replace that pole and that pole over there and the two uh peaks when i had that first collapse due to the snow we had like a foot of snow and this thing was holding a lot of weight and it just come down so i'm going to get some poles here in the next couple of weeks uh, we're getting into our nicer season right now so i may hold off even wait longer and that way i can you know if a snowstorm comes in i can hook a pole in up here which will then go down to the floor and then i'm going to do another one at this peak again it'll hook into the floor so if it the only thing that should really break is the tarp if it does and i'll do a third pull on the front peak as well um probably just be a two by four and just go off of like this bar here not the actual peak but this bar make it where it just kind of clamps on real fast so i can do it if i feel it's going to be a, a bad winter you know maybe even keep the back one up against my fence there on more permanent than than and uh and whatnot but quads dry i'm dry show you my rally car that usually parks in there my gambler 500 rally car that's usually parked under there but i've had it out here doing the work it's a good place to work on it as you can see i got a lot of vehicles to work on so i'm pretty pleased with it I couldn't really build a carport off um, in the sense of you know nice where it would give me the height that i would truly like like this canopy does because you can see my roof line it's pretty low i can even show you by touching it it's you know and i bring in big trucks uh, I've, I've done my three quarter ton chevy that i used to have in here painted it all that so um just some helpful tents for you y'all out there so enjoy have any questions feel free to to comment i'll answer them as soon as i can i'm not the best at it to be honest with you but like i said all this is from home depot or most of this is uh harbor freight and then the only thing you got to get at home depot is uh these which reminds me i got the turnbuckles at lowe's they seem to have the better deal with these and every once in a while as you can see i got to tighten them up but so far it's we've had some pretty good wind the last couple of weeks too and uh it's holding up pretty good got it mounted into my house too for extra support as you can see right there that's original from when i did it just kind of looped it around put screws in do whatever it takes works good though um got these harbor freight lights in here so at night they run off solar power so when we pull in or i'm working out here it lights up the ceiling which then glows the ground um i'm probably going to do some shop lights just on a quick plug into my garage up in the peak area uh some of them leds so like in the summertime when i'm out here working i like to work in the you know cool nights and whatnot especially on my my gambler um yeah that's what i got i think that'll really brighten it up at night make it a lot better to work on it at night especially in the weather um but until I do any more upgrades, that's what I got so far. Oh, and by the way, all of these fittings are in the fencing at Home Depot. Or low, but I got these at Home Depot.